Hey everyone, Bill Lethman here for MoneyEvolution.com. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about three retirement traps and how to avoid them. So let's jump in. So trap number one is underestimating healthcare. And I was reading an article here about a week or so ago, and they actually said that this was the number one concern that most retirees have. And I think for good reason. And what we find oftentimes is that people are just not really aware or educated about how much their health care really could cost in retirement. And obviously, uh, that could be costly. So uh, let's look at somebody that's going in to take Medicare. Okay, so somebody 65 years old, according to a recent report that JP Morgan put out here uh, in April 2016, uh, health care costs in retirement, they actually said that um, a person would pay $4,660 per year for Medicare. By the time you added up the Medicare uh, Part B, the prescription plan, and the uh, the co-pays, and a good Medicare supplement policy as well. Uh, so if there's two of you, you're talking about uh, $9,000 plus, almost $10,000 a year uh, just for Medicare. Um, what about for some of those people that might be looking at retiring prior to Medicare? Well, if you have to go out into the exchanges and get your own health care coverage, that same JP Morgan survey actually said that an individual would pay $8,420 per year for what they call uh, an Affordable Care Act silver plan. So that's not even the top of the line, and it still has a lot of uh, out-of-pocket expenses. I think this was about a $6,000 out-of-pocket uh, maximum for the year. So. And that was for somebody that's 64 years old. So if you're planning on retiring prior to Medicare and you're not having health care coverage through your employer, you really need to plan that out. Make sure you're putting a lot of um, planning into that. So uh, the other thing, too, is that the inflation rate on health care, according to this J.P. Morgan survey, they said that health care costs are running at about twice the rate of normal inflation. So uh, plan for about 7% per year uh, for those health care costs going up. And that's one of the things we do when we do financial planning is we have the ability within our plan to kind of isolate different expenses and we can apply that higher inflation rate to the medical expenses versus some of your other expenses of, in retirement and really plan that out. Um, number two uh, trap is the loss of a spouse. And this is one thing that nobody really likes to talk about uh, death, uh, but what happens if something happens to you or your spouse in retirement? Well, number one is that if you're collecting social security, you lose one of those checks. Uh, you don't get to keep both of those. Uh, fortunately, you do get to keep the larger of the two checks. Uh, but think about that. If you lost one of those social security checks, the lower one, even if it's a $10,000, $12,000, uh, a year payment, uh, how are you going to make up that gap? Where's that money going to come from? It's going to have to probably come from somewhere. Um, the other thing too is pensions. So when you retired, if you had a pension, uh, you chose an election. You could elect uh, for your spouse to get 100% of your pension benefit. Uh, maybe it was 50%, 65%. Uh, but again, if something happens and you lose part of that pension benefit, how are you going to make that up? And, and, and maybe before you make that election, think about that in advance and how that you know potentially could play out and maybe that influences your decision as you know how much of a percentage of the pension you're going to take uh, the next one we talk about is inflation. Uh, so inflation obviously is a very real thing. Uh, things do get more expensive. While we were working, we may not have really noticed inflation very much. Of course, we know things are more expensive. You know, if we think back to uh, the first car we bought or our first house or how much money we spent on groceries when we first got married compared to how much some of those things cost today. Uh, but while we were working, we were hopefully getting regular pay raises and cost of living adjustments and raises and, and things like that. So uh, we didn't maybe notice inflation as much, but in retirement, we're gonna be living off of a much more fixed income. Uh, most pension benefits don't have any cost of living adjustment. Social Security does, but we noticed in the last uh, handful of years, there was several years where we got no Social Security uh, inflation adjustment and a couple of years where it was only in the you know three or four tenths of a percent. So you know, think about how inflation is gonna influence over time. Uh, one thing we use is something called the rule of 72. That's a nice little trick or rule of thumb. So if you divide an interest rate into the number 72, it'll tell you how long it'll take for something to double. So at three and a half percent for inflation, which is about the long-term average historically, uh, dividing three and a half into uh, 72 tells us we're gonna double prices about once every 20 years. 
So if you think about that, if it takes you $100,000 today to meet all of your lifestyle expenses, in just 10 years, it's gonna be $150,000 to maintain that same uh, standard of living. And in 20 years, it's gonna take you $200,000 to maintain that. So uh, think about inflation um, and how that's gonna impact your long-term ability. Uh, of course, we map all of this out through our Wealth Vision Comprehensive Financial Plan. I think we've talked about it on almost all of our videos here. Uh, in fact, we'll put a link in the notes below the video here today if you'd like to learn more about Wealth Vision. Um, you can learn about the process that we go through. And if you like, uh, you you can do a free, uh, no obligation introductory call with me. Uh, usually we spend about 10 or 15 minutes and uh, learn a little bit about your situation and tell you if we think uh, Wealth Vision would be right for you. And if it is, we can talk about next steps. So uh, click on that link below the video. And uh, until then, I'll see everyone back here in one of my next videos. Have a great day. Thanks.